Buy yourself Buy flowers, flowers. Write your own name in the sand, and make your own Valentine's Day. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel where we take old clouds and make it. This video is for everyone who has a Valentine, does not have a Valentine, or has a Valentine. Ghosting, for example, from really far away. Not saying any names. But if you're watching, keep watching. And by the way, baby, fuck you. <laughs> anyway, let's keep it professional, shall we? <laughs> yeah, it's too late now. Because I got the feedback, I'll tip, never ask for feedback, that I was not prepared that well for my video, which I absolutely don't know what they're talking about, but I already printed it, guys. Come with some printout and you always look super prepared. The more attentive viewer amongst you might have noticed that one of the hearts is a little different. It, it, it's a hollow one. Oh, you got that? I wonder why. Because today we're not only gonna find the perfect sewing technique to make a cut. Out. We're swinging both ways today. But also try out no sewing cutout. So we're even put the ironing board out already. Just to show you guys what we're gonna work with. This coat that I bought two years ago to upcycle and I never did it. Oh. This coat kind of depresses me to be honest. But I think some cutouts can definitely give a little pizzazz. Also take a moment to appreciate my dripness. Kind of double lines. I guess you can wear it for different seasons. But I'm just gonna get rid of it. Then you have two coats. The other one you can just use to keep yourself warm. I'm gonna get the lining out. It's gonna be easier to make cutouts without the lining. Just get the lining off until... Uh. Coat is the definition of bash Becky to me, you know what I mean. I don't know why I'm standing here. <laughs> it does affect. I just separated the lining and the coat now. That I have here in the bottom already a lot of space to work. And then in the end, I'm just gonna crop the lining only as far as I need to crop it. Tie that together. Scrunchy, of course. We don't wanna hurt the coat with a normal elastic. Hello. And now. <laughs> now, and now, and now. I'm gonna create a facing from this piece of old curtain and iron on interfacing that I, you guessed it, iron on. So if you've been on my channel before, you know that I kinda use that stuff for almost everything. Very fortified, I need drinking. Yeah. Things you do to be a good citizen. <sighs> that does not spray nicely. <coughs> Nothing can go wrong really here unless you <sighs> drop your iron or get sticky gum <sighs> on your ironing board. You might want to put baking paper or a Teflon sheet in between. Then I'm gonna cut squares that are bigger than the heart. And I will be a little bit more generous than yours truly. That will make it easier turning it around and ironing it later. Followed by tracing the heart onto the facing on the wrong aka reinforced side. It's time to spread the love. Literally. Literally. Why do I sound like a pervert today? Uh, that was a rhetorical question, by the way. Anyway, we're gonna divide the different sizes of hearts randomly, concentrating mostly on the bottom of the coat. Not that I'm gonna wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> Well, except for maybe at the introduction of the video. But it's gonna be a lot easier to avoid them anyway. Pretend that they're not there, just ghost them, if you will. And when I came to the facing of the coat, which is kind of padded, I was like, well, let's cut to the chase and cut the fluff. Literally. Okay, I'll shut up. But in hindsight, I would consider making the cutout only in the outer fabric and not in the facing. Time to sew our heart out. Exactly. Or in my case, more or less exactly. Over the heart shape. Hot. Leave the needle in the fabric when you lift up the foot to turn the fabric. That way the fabric can't wiggle away. You, didn't realize. <laughs> you have to travel that whole coat under the machine all the time. It's um, fun. Time of my life. Don't forget you can also sew with the wheel. It might be a little easier. Please keep this between us, swear. Because it took me an awkwardly long time to figure it out. Once you get the feeling, you have to push the entire coat with force under the arm of the sewing machine. Oh my god. Two yeah. hands. Probably done more than half of the heart. Just lift the foot, twist the entire coat around and sewn from the other side. Much easier. Everybody happy? <laughs> I'm not. Somehow, some are a little bit puckering, especially the small ones. Only thing that I can think of. Make some new facing, but I'm gonna use a different fabric. I feel like this fabric might be still a little bit too flimsy, even though it's reinforced. What follows is a brief construction montage. Oh. Oh. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Oh, surprise! I don't think it was the facing that was like too thin. I think the course was not cutting in the seam allowance enough, like... Uh, what? Here's where we were. We've sewn on the heart. I cut away the heart of the heart. So mad at. Leaving about half a centimeter of seam allowance. Then I'm gonna cut in two. Where the curves of the heart are. Almost all the way. Yeah, it's a little bit scary, but almost all the way to where you stitch. And at both corners. Cutting the inner corner in and the outer corner corner almost completely off. You have to do this quite thoroughly to avoid puckering. And then when you think you cut enough in, you have to go on. You have to cut enough in, you have to go on and cut in, cut in, cut in. And just make sure that... 
It's got it. But don't be fooled, children. The pressing with the iron is just as important. This can really make or break your heart. Oh my god, I'm getting sick of my own puns. But you want to take extra care at the corner, and I'm using a knife carefully, without really pressing too much, to push out the corner of the heart, so that I can press it nice and flat. And then you have a quite nice heart. But I'm trying to make it look as random as possible. It sounds easy, but sometimes it's harder than it seems. And you want to pay attention to what's on the other side. For example, here with the pockets, it's probably not going to look too nice if there are seam allowances of the pockets or something peeking through. Placing them more or less straight, but with a little bit of a variation. Agree of a bit of too many <laughs> That's a cone, a little bit like the Angle. Oh my god. That was the complicated word that I was looking for, I think. Don't be scared that it's over now. I still have to top stitch the edge. So as opposed to Roman, this coat will last forever. Ever, ever, ever. I find it easiest to move my needles slightly to the side so that I can have the fabric exactly in the middle of the foot. And to make it look extra professional, at least in an attempt to, I'm not gonna tack the thread down. I'm just gonna start sewing. And when I come at the end, I'm just trying to sew exactly over the stitches where I began. For about five stitches, and this way you hardly see the beginning and the end of the top stitch. Then after many hours of cutting, sewing, pressing, just putting your heart in another upcycling project, might strike you as ironic that now the coat is not only reminiscent of Inspector Gadget anymore, Inspector Gadget. but also <sighs> of a toilet door. Hello. <laughs> the irony of love. Uh, Are we true? Is it done? I can't really actually believe. I didn't think this was ever ending. This heartbreaking, hard sewing. Tiny little hot tip. Don't tell anyone. You're like having the corner a little too far out with your knife. Maybe cut it a little too short. Sometimes there's a few threads coming out. If you have a polyester facing, you can melt it a little bit to prevent it from fraying out. I mean, I don't make mistakes, but if you do. <laughs> love to use that as a lining. I that as Big enough. I chopped the facings a little bit shorter, trying to keep the lines sort of diagonal. The fabric is not gonna fray too much. I cropped the lining 10 centimeters above the highest hard, and I'm gonna use the cutoff as a pattern. That is like. Oh boy, that is like just or just not enough. Does that piece up there fit down the side? My brain couldn't. But in doubt, time for procrastination. The ultimate solution for all your problems. Guess who's back? I'm not gonna do side seams because they're not really necessary. But I do have to patchwork some pieces together to make it big enough. And because we have the cutout, I don't want the seams to look all messy on the inside. Because you can't see it on the outside. That's why I'm choosing a French seam, which is sewn in two steps. First, you sew the wrong side on the wrong side. Sounds wrong, but it's Right. Flip the fabric around right side on the right side. Maybe to use the iron to press it nicely first. But I'm just pressing with my fingers at this point. I'm already hot. <laughs> Top stitch the right side on the right side and closing the seam allowance. You may have to cut off the seam allowance and make the French seam a little bit smaller. Hemming the lining like with a tiny little hem because the fabric is barely enough. You see one centimeter off, but we can make that work. We're called creators for a reason. Then I add it back to the coat. First sewing a seam where I cropped the lining out and then attach it to the facing of the coat again. And you may be wondering, Pierre, I watched your entire bullcrap of a video, but I can't sew. And of course, I'll take that to heart, though you could be a bit nicer to mommy. Uh. To make a cutout without sewing, make a facing that is just the outline of the heart. Then I'm gonna add fusible adhesive with a sheet of baking paper. And this is polyester, so I'll burn the edges a bit, but I really can't start fraying. Basically cut the heart in the same way as before, but now just a single layer of fabric. And I'm gonna use this template to help me with the pressing, and I know I I said don't use fabric glue, but I wouldn't really be a YouTuber if I wouldn't contradict myself. Add a drop here and there under the seam allowance, then I'm gonna add my facing with the iron. Then you actually have a really nice, neat and sharp heart. However, I probably wouldn't do this on clothes you will wash a lot. Always add a hand stitch for extra security, of course. My mic was not working properly, but please subscribe if you liked the video and want to see more, and like the video for the algorithm. Check out the braided purse tutorial in the info cards, and see you next time. My life <laughs> just sucks. It just sucks, okay?